So that said, switching gears back onto Miramar today, I think might be a good opportunity for some of those teams that fell just a little bit short. Uh, some teams that haven't really put down much since day one as well. It'll be a ample opportunity for them to kind of have that redemption. Fabled is a, a team that's kind of come into mind. We've really seen them bring a lot on Miramar. And thinking back onto yesterday for Erangel, they didn't really accomplish too much. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, Fable is a team also that, again, has had really good early success in, in Grand Finals. Obviously, PCS1 comes to mind, and even the start of, of this Grand Finals in PCS2. But the the same thing is kind of seeming to happen where they, they definitely slow down very heavily um, as far as, you know, their, their points per game and, and how aggressive they can be. Um, and even looking at this plane for them, I mean, it... it it shouldn't be the worst, but this is a very southern play. This is actually the type of plane you and I sadistically like to see. It's one that kind of cuts <laughs> off a lot of the map, specifically the north and the east. And so, although most of these guys are going to get to where they want to go, they're going to have to go for a little longer rotations. They're going to get to the loot a little later, especially if the circle ends up shifting north. You know, these guys are going to have to go through some pretty annoying rotations mm -hmm. um, just to get to the new circle. So we'll have to see where that one plays out. But I'm hoping we start today with a little bit of a... A little bit of a more exciting circle, especially yesterday, because we saw so many just standard, vanilla, kind of boring circles. Ooh. Uh, okay, there we go. Forty yeah. percent in the water. Kind of giving Islands us something. In, I know that. Sure. They've uh, they've been struggling here or there. They also had a really sick comeback yesterday, so we'll see what Veritas has. Uh, going on for them, but here comes Sonics rotating just north of Leonis and right into Simply Matt. I mean, right, <laughs> Liberate just can't seem to catch a break. Oh, a couple of shots that that but we're going to get a seat swap from a win who that gets the knock, Tickleton with a little bit of extra damage onto this, and Sonic's pulling back out for a free flush here. Liberate now down three players. Unfortunate start for them today is... <laughs> I think the last player is still up and alive in Leonis. Now, it is Ice Tech, and we'll give credit where credit is due. Last week, there was a match where I believe uh, it was Ice that uh, managed to snake all the way into the end game. And let's also, let's not forget about Shrimzy and Mime. You know, I mean, this this roster is insane. Shrimzy is, I, I, I think, one of the most mechanical players I'd played with when he was coming up um, as a newcomer, and, and he's nuts. And Mime also, I mean, he's kind of done his grinding through, you know, contenders and, and challengers and all that. And now he's here on, on one of the best teams. And he deserves, I mean, all these guys, I mean, we talk a lot about Huynh and Tig, yes, but Shrimzy and Mime are, are also very talented, very, very good players. Uh, speaking of which, there Shrimzy is going to get a oh, knock onto Rip, but it looks like Comets are actually third parting this. Monty is going to get a knock and flush onto Greg shot. So Fable down to just three players, and we're seeing an aggressive push coming out from Sonics. Win trying to find the angle onto this look in. Or it looks like the last player finds him out oh, here. Mother knock. So that clean. is it. All eliminated. They're going to win out this gas station, and now four kills to their name. Loving this. Coming into the bottom side of. Um... Sorry, I'm just trying to see how are, how are they going to position on this SDK? Oh, there it is. Ooh, there you go. All right, I mean, opening knock onto Balefrost. That's huge for SDK. Siv gets a headshot onto that Relo. And a bit of pre-fire smokes out. Nades out, excuse me, trying to look for some opening damage here on the shoot to oh, kill. Molotov's going to land on Siv as he tries to heal that out. We'll manage to stay up for right now. We can see more utility being used as Oath continues to crash and try to join this. The rest of shoot to kill now leaving Impala. I'm trying to help this out. I mean, oh, oh there it is. Nade. Reload falls as well. This is a good advantage right now for Shoot to Kill. As here comes the Nade for Kurt landing beautifully, getting the flush on both players. And Oath now down to two players, Snakers and Pat Caps. Once again, half and found. Alo is going to land a shot. All right, the aggressive push in hand. We see Luke 12 still with a nade and a molly to his name. Uh, Sid oh. is going to get knocked. Snakers picks that one up. As Alo falls as well, Snakers has the angle here somehow we see kurt continuing to look through trying to find it here that last Pat. smoke's out thrown and oh that nade doing just a bit of damage but Pat still can make a huge on play here. oh you're if right. he's willing to peek oh, this. this nade oh this is this has not got quite. to be enough underhanded the nade should do enough damage pat caps will get a knock on the sid but not before loot 12 returns the favor another nade is out looking for the flush onto this if he can get cap Pat, there's only Snakers left, and this could be huge for Shoot to Kill, who still has two players down. And you see those oh, reses Molly? still coming back out. I like this. I really like this from Snakers. He knows STK is hurt. Resetting this fight would almost mean that Pat and him would still be at a disadvantage, but he's got to move quick. 
He's got to get the kills here. Oh, this is a nice angle. The smokes That's are one. in the way, but Snakers picked up one. Luke 12 gets knocked and flushed out of this. More damage into the smoke, but Alo and Siv are going to avoid it. We can see them back up at good health. Kurt walking around wide, trying to make sure that Pat bleeds out. We can see Illusion now rotating back behind this in the distance. They're going to stop short and join the fight, and that might be enough of a distraction to allow Snakers to escape and shoot to kill now needing to turn their focus elsewhere. You know, he... Oh, nice shot coming up from Kurt. I actually thought that was Siv that knocked him into his Kurt from the side, and now Illusion is in trouble. Yeah, Illusion's losing Icy Flex and Adam. Both have been flushed out as we take another look. Plenty of water still into play for this circle shift. To be honest, like, with only two up and, and looking... Impala's circles are so weird because... <laughs> There's obviously a lot of city to fight in, but at the same time, there's a lot of open area as well. You have this entire back ridge, this back mountain, uh, where we famously saw, you know, Relo do a lot of work from. Um, and, and the other PCS and PCS1. So, it's just a... There's a lot of different elevations to fight oh. in around Apollo. And Lobes is fighting that out... Or, excuse me, Chubb is fighting that out. The hard oh. way with the grenade! Tickle. Right on top of him! You've got to love this. I mean, Sonics, I, I honestly thought they used up all of their utility in that earlier fight, but... It looked not to be the case as they rain down nades, getting a knock here. And speaking of, of which, now here comes Carnage continuing this push onto Radiance. Yeah, and Snakers we saw earlier, his team kind of got picked off as they were fighting. It was a, it was a valiant fight with uh, SDK, but I really want to say that, I, that that play he made, I mean, I respect that play. He was just going for it. Getting Pat up was just going to reset the fight, and, you know, he had the opportunity. Ooh, got a kill for go. it. <gasps> And now he's All alone. Right, a strong push from Radiance. He's going to send two in. Oh, One gets knocked, but McCoy <laughs> finishes the job. They won't lose Los out in this. Will manage to get the res. But all of that noise should have attracted the attention of the last of the squads. So we can see on the minimap, it's just a full rainbow of players up here to the far side of the north. 11 teams, 33 players left alive. And with a zone like this, it's going to be insane. As the ball is down the street. Already you can see just the bullet tracers across the stream. Carnage taking fire left and right from multiple teams. Duels in a really great angle on us as Lampalot manages to get a couple hits onto Zraygod here. So packed. Uh, nowhere left to go. Carnage struggling just to control. <gasps> Will manage to find some safety. This almost running over themselves, but managing to keep up just a bit. And Sonics don't quite have the angle, but now you've got Radiance, you've got Dodge, and you've got ATC that need to do the same. Oh! Ooh. Nice, nice hit by Marcelic. Shot. That's going to be McCoy going down, and there, there's no possibility for Rez. McCoy's actually just done. It's just going to be up to Los and Gaxi. And this is not going to be the this is not going to be the most friendly run that they're going to make. I promise you that. Oh, you see already Marcella getting nice hits onto Gaxi down to 79 HP, but more bullets out in the window. Can't find the knock on this is it. Gaxi down to 16 HP, and Radiance will get eliminated just before the curtain of the blue closes in. Throwables are out by Dodge, but they need to walk around as well. As we go back once again, Zenith managed to make it into the zone, albeit with a little bit of loss. Roth is going to really fall out here kickstart has been knocked and we can continue to see all of the throwables coming down from sonic so don't quite have the angle onto this carnage in a really good position to get in on this action as well we know we see right there has a bike out he's taking fire from multiple people it's me tiggleton that gets the knock and flush donage eliminated as carnage finds out corsac and maji getting knocked out as well from carnage who overextended Ooh, just a little this. bit and sonics are not giving up on zenith I love this aggression. They are going to pull back a little bit, but nine kills for their name and an arm in Mime's hand. That is, that is very scary. Ten kills now for Sonics, who are on a spree. Win with three. Tickleton with five. Mime and Shrimzy a kill each. And as you said, scary arm um, in Mime's hand as it's now prime time. Mime time looking to catch ATC as they cross the street. That is going to be another knock there for Crawfresh. Actually, it's going to get the yeah. knock and flush onto Leda. Yeah, and like I said, it's really rough for Zenith. The, the best option they have now is to try to pick up these kills and maybe get a push. Nice shot's coming out, but they, they're going to have to push one of these teams. Again, it's either going to be Sonics or Carnage. Take your pick. Ooh, and good damage coming out from Duel onto this as smokes are out. Alo tried to make it across the street, but it's going to lie prone and use that first aid kit to keep him healthy enough to get there. Voxic, meanwhile, getting a knock onto Shrimsy as nades are out, and 303 loses three in this. Voxic trying to keep the dream alive. We can see Comets are also on the hunt here as they do have an angle onto this fight. So Voxic will survive for just a little bit longer, but that's going to give Sonics enough time to recover. Yeah, Sonics, I mean, losing one in that run is not the worst. Landude's knocked. 
Voxic is also going to go down, and that's just 303 eliminated. And Sonics now has a wealth of room to work with. Curdy, meanwhile, unfortunately taking quite a bit of damage into the blue. And not really any other position for them to get here as duels continuing to wait across the street. So Kirk just trying to heal and stay alive as long as possible onto this. The blue doing its own and actually managing to find safety onto this. Getting the shots onto Danny G. Will actually get the knock. Hasn't found the flush, but here comes Cherry. Oh, he wanted the flush so bad, <laughs> Kurt. And I respect it. I mean, in that position, crossing the street, knowing he's probably dead, he went for the point he could get. But here comes Zenith now coming up from the position that um, we saw Sonics before. And if he can get this knock, Ooh. that's actually huge. Kickstarter Kickstar might be able to get off. This uh, you notice it gets Tickleton down. Sonics have one more down as well. Win is, and all that's left up is Mime. Not a position to get the reds on to take, but should be able to get one on win as the circle closes in again. There we go, and Duel working their way into safety. Now look at this, Ray God actually is still across the street watching Kickstarter. It's actually gonna be Danny G that gets them in the end here. Duel now with three kills to name and smokes out a plenty as Wooly trying to create good smoke while getting him into safety. Carnage, biggest threat right now, also on the edge of zone. Somehow we still have four teams and 14 up left alive for this circle. Yeah, damage I mean, this keeps is, on coming. This is very consistent with Impala Circles. I mean, everyone just clumps up in these very small buildings. There's not a lot. And look at look at Carnage. They're actually getting a flank here onto oh. Duel. Zraygod actually rotated all the way around back behind him, but Wooly spotting out. Uh, it looks like Ripper, but not before Ripper gets the knock first. Zraygod very quietly looking for the angle. Spots out Lampalot. Gets the knock onto this as well. Flush comes out. Oh. Another knock comes out from Duel. Oh, almost entirely flushed out. One Whoa. player left. Danny G cleans it up, takes out Carnage, and five kills now to their name for duel. Absolutely insane. That was chaos, but I, I have to I have to be honest, Carnage came out of that, I think, the victory, even though they went down, because they were in the worst position and they, they managed to get three kills out of that before going down. And that was a three on four. So well played by Carnage. Danny G, good job barely keeping that together for duel as he's the last member alive. Meanwhile, Sonics did manage to get all of the reses and stay three players up as they've got 13 kills to their name and D-Treats accidentally D-Treats with a nade there. And so Comets down to, looks like, a, oh, there you I go. Like, three players so and smart. Danny G onto this. This has been the quietest area of this circle, this Western edge, and, and Sonics has realized that and they're wrapping far so they can get a surprise angle on Comets and they find Yaxley. Ooh, this is nasty. If mine could have been able to get up into that window, it would have been a fantastic angle indeed. But you see Monty, who does have a wider angle, still trying to get some damage on oh, Sonics. And mine actually oh, manages to cheeky. do it, getting himself up in through the window. And Victor still working on this res. Mine needs to move quickly. And they still need to worry about Monty too, as we see throwables coming out from Monty, but nobody there to take the damage. Mine spots him out anyway. And Comet's jumping down from the roof, so they vacated the building. Sonic's inside. This is just methodical. The way that they've cleared this, the way that they're peaking. I mean, Comets was in one of the best positions, and now Sonic's has completely taken that over. Oh, look at this. The arm back out again, not letting go of Monty. Going, this is really going to be the deadliest player that they have to worry about. Now, the center of the circle is just about onto their building here. And this could be a heal off if they can't take care of Monty soon enough. Still one more player below them as well. I suspect one of them will, will vault off for this. Ooh, and there we go. More throwables out onto Monty. Obscuring his vision. Good play as well. But Yaxley still downstairs. You can see Actually, a broken level two. 2 vest onto this. But the barrel is out in close range. That might just be enough to work the magic that Comets need. Eight kills to their name so far at Yaxley. Preparing for that final moment to try and stay alive as the blue zone closes in. Yax 45 seconds until this is all over. Yaxley Sonics has need to come back downstairs. He has a huge opportunity. Monty's but down. That's it. Monty, One player up. Man, Monty was doing so much to stall or, or, or distract. And all three members of Sonics were looking at him. And, and Yaxley just kind of sat. I think that's a huge missed opportunity. There you go. Yaxley will find one knock on the TIG. Unfortunately, can't find the second here as Win gets it in the end. And Sonics take victory with 16 kills here on match number one.